7 million early o'clock, 30 degrees, starting to snow. Great. Welcome to Vice Grip Garage, episode 3 or 4, somewhere in there, the Chevy C10 Rat Rod build. And I'm going to big toe promise you that we're going to drive her today. We're going to we're gonna give her a test drive. And since she's going to be on the road anyway, you know, we might as well go 40 miles to a car show because that just makes perfect sense. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Guy was working on her late last night till about 11:30 midnight. And started looking under the old power barn here and realized that I ain't ever even changed on the oil. So I suppose we should go ahead and do that today. And was smart enough to go ahead and hook the old battery charger on her. So uh, hopefully it starts. Never had to fire her up in the cold weather like this, and we'll get her in the old shop here and change the oil, do a couple other small things, load up all the junk, and uh, we're just gonna, you know, pray? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Yep. All right, cool. I suppose I better take the charger out of here. She'll get bound up in that fan blade, you know. Oh, oh, come on, there she goes. Oh, we got 12s, that's more than 10. So, must be good, right? Get that out of there. Get this out of here. Okay. If you ever want to steal this, I'll leave the key in it. Just uh, make sure we don't recover it, because I'd rather have to check. All right, let's go with uh, one, two, three and a half pumps. And 76% choke, and then see what happens. Immediate. This truck's too good for me, honestly. likes how she's just sitting now. I don't know if you noticed this, but I went ahead and shut her down in here without turning off the engine and dropping her into a gear. And that's because, guys and gals, she's got front brakes. Just front. I did nothing with the rear, but late last night we did wheel cylinders, shoes, all new spring hardware, wheel bearings. I even put grease in there. And then we even got the old grease gun out and Went ahead and smoothed up the old front end, and that's that's rare. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling I'm confident. I'm feeling pretty good about this. In there. You guys are thinking about picking one of these jacks up from Harbor Freight. I would recommend on it. It's pretty good. Today's flavor of oil is GTX diesel oil. Originally, it was the old noisemaker stick that kind of drew me into it, but. You know, it was the cheapest, so. But, it does have a lot more dinosaurs in it. You need that for these hydraulic flat tap cams. And apparently, Walmart's just carrying Fram now. If you want to ruin your engine, you just throw one of these puppies in there. Since it was the only one Walmart had, I'm gonna do the right thing and put this one in there. And then I keep going back to this Hyperlube. I don't even know if it works, but it's got a flag on it. And Seems really gooey, so I'm gonna throw this in as a fifth quarter. That's our combo today. Should work just fine. I'm honestly probably better off using this one from 25 years ago, but three of you would probably get really mad at me, so we're gonna go ahead and change her out. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Where's my pan? Oh, 
out here. That's right. I like to dump these out. See what guy gets. Sometimes you get cool stuff. Nothing too interesting. Little chunks of big metal or Legos. You know, when I pick these old cars and trucks up, guy likes to save on that old oil. Let her work around in there a little bit. You want to run them on that old crap. And the reason for that is works all the old sludge up out of there and puts all the crap into the filter then all the bad stuff sits down in here and you can usually get her out and then you're not wasting that good oil either get up in there this doesn't look too bad honestly for sitting that long and really when oil sits the only thing it's going to do is all the impurities settle down here like they're supposed to so don't stress too much about the old oil when you save on these old girls. When you tighten these up, make sure you go until you're seeing stars and getting light at it. Makes it better for the next guy. Oh, and also strip that if you can. These go down the hatch better if you mix them up first. This. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking this stuff is like Lucas, maybe. I don't know. You guys ever used it? Let me know if you do. Put it down in the comments. Or maybe you use something else. Oh. Let me know what you use and if you like her, I guess. Ugh. Next thing I gotta do is figure out a defrost for the unit. She's gonna fog up on me, just like that. And that could be dangerous. But, all the hoses are jacked, so. I think a guy's got her figured out. I need a shot of defrost to just... That works just fine. I do actually gotta clean the windscreen just a touch. Can't see out of her very good, as you saw. So I'd like to take a razor blade on these old units and hit them with this first. And then I'm gonna come back with some of that there fancy rain axe. And then the rain will, you know, it does something magical. There's science and wizards involved. Let's see what the construction say here. Clean thoroughly. Nope. Dry surfaces. Uh -uh. Apply and temperatures above 40 de degree F. Nope. Should be fine. It's, I mean, there's some, they gotta have some leadway in there, right? It can't just be all of that. Just, oh, kind of smells like ether. I like that. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. And uh, you can definitely see the windshield wasn't clean to start with, but that's okay. Yeah, I think we're ready. I think I'm just gonna scoot her on up to the house here and throw some more garbage in the back. And, mountain sodas and we're just gonna you know grit the old teeth and see if we can make her it's only 40 miles right there's nothing nothing can go wrong in 40 miles well guys trying to get to the house and smelt something like campfire and normally that's nice but not when you're sitting in it you see and uh turns out there are some leaves back here on fire and Guy cleaned them out. I think I'm good to go now, though. Didn't bring an extinguisher. Dang it! Made her to the old house here, and I thought, geez, she's really running on five cylinders. I better look. And sure enough, the old lightning wire came off. I don't know why, but we're gonna jam her back in. And I think I better zip tie this up or something. I, nope, I won't. Just pulled onto the main road here and I don't know I mean I've driven some junk and this this truck is definitely not the worst but it's up there the clutch is just so bad what kind of animal is that sure runs a lot better when all the plug wires are hooked in you know Performance 
this exhaust is just, you know, it bites into the ears a little bit. Uh oh. What the heck? I brought my good license plate just in case I get pulled over, you know. Did put it on though. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, right up behind him. Great. Love the city. Oh man, it is so loud in here. Vipers, no heat, a uh, little bit of brakes, just a scotch. Starting to snow, and well, there's uh, there's kind of there's well, there's pretty much no one here. You know, there's a couple folks. Uh, that's okay. Big thing is we made her, and that's pretty much what I wanted to do. But I'll grab the old digital camera, and we'll go get a couple of these rods.
That's nifty. Oh goodness. It's got piper laders on it. going on here but I'll take it. Hey guy. Guy tucked the engine back here I guess. It's pretty nifty. I like it. Guy really likes this. You know what? That really helps. One of these days, I'm gonna go ahead and build on something like this. But I just don't know if I'm gonna fit in there, you know? But maybe. Maybe I will. Well, we got this guy. Them, these chebbies, they all do that. You know, this like mine over here. Same thing, right on the back of the fender. Right, right there. Yeah. I didn't get the box done, but she's sitting better now. But still got some work to do on the box. Kind of right there. You know, when your clutch shakes more than Miley Cyrus twerking, you really want to get in this traffic. And, you know, just keep working on it. Oh, red light. Should I run it? Right or not? Whoa! Good brakes. <sighs> Snowed again. That's... I like that a lot. It's the next day, actually, because... All my moving making machines, the batteries died on them. And, well, I'm lazy, so I just decided to wait till the next day and loaded the truck up last night on the old Traymore here. And I think what I'm going to do for now is just ease her back into some storage that I got in you know, Wisconsin. And then I'll pick up working on it again maybe next spring. I don't know. But need some ideas from you guys. Definitely need something with the tires and wheels. I don't know what, but it, this looks okay, but I want to do something a little unique. And then maybe a guy will do some art on the door down here on the fender and hood. Not really sure. And that's all I got for ideas. So if you got something, bleep blooper down there in the old comment box, give me some ideas. And uh, Next spring, maybe we'll do part eight or whatever we're on now. And, I think I'm gonna hang on to this because it's really ridiculous and basically unsafe to sell. So I'm just gonna drive it a lot, pretty much. So thanks for watching, appreciate it very much as always. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be pretty cool. Go ahead and hit that button, ring the old bell down there, and we'll see you next time.